Hello ladies and gents, Pepperbelly here, and today I want to talk about the improvements made to Battlefield 4 because this game has gone through some serious changes and numerous patches thanks to the community test environment, the CTE, that was available to premium members who actually, you know, had premium membership, who kind of felt screwed over that they spent that much money on a game that was incredibly broken, especially when you compare it to games like Battlefield 3, which ran significantly better than Battlefield 4, which was probably one of the things that really made gamers and those of us who bought this game really frustrated. It's like, how can you go a step backwards when you're going on to the next installment in the franchise? And I guess it's because, well, they put too much crap in the game and they didn't really focus that much on actually really optimizing the engine and the net coding as much as they probably should have. They just decided that they're gonna stuff a bunch of stuff into a game and make it way more content oriented and not really focus on the more important aspects which is actually the fluidity of the actual gameplay experience itself. Anyway, that said, it's gone through some serious changes to the point where now it's literally on par, if not slightly better, I would say more or less on par with what Battlefield 3's performance gives us when we play that game, which is good. By all means, that's absolutely fantastic because it's kind of funny, you think about it and we used to complain about Battlefield 3's netcode. I'm not sure if you guys ever seen videos, but I, I sure have. I've seen plenty of videos where people are like, Battlefield 3's netcode is atrocious when compared to other games. Well, ever since Battlefield 4's release, it pretty much made us appreciate Battlefield 3. Even though we used to complain about it back in the day, we were like, wow, it's a hell of a lot better than what Battlefield 4 is. And we really hope that they can at least get it back to the feeling of Battlefield 3. At the very least. And, well, I can say they definitely did that. So, with the latest patches, not only is it improved in terms of uh, its responsiveness when you're shooting at other players, the hit registration, all that feels a lot more quick and more responsive and fluid. It, it feels a lot more like when I'm shooting someone, tap firing at somebody, it's like my rounds are connecting and it feels kind of awesome. It's very, very fluid. And it reminded me a lot of Battlefield 3 when I was shooting and engaging players in that game as well. But on top of that, there seems to be some minor optimization improvements in some maps. Now, I've actually noticed in a variety of maps, the performance has been significantly higher. Before, I used to be getting like lower frame rates. I remember playing on Seeds of Shanghai, I'd get into the low 30s. Well, now, I'm not. it's not quite as optimized as some of the other maps, for example, but it's a lot better. And the frame rates don't hit you nearly as hard. It's only really bad whenever the building in the center actually comes down and the evolution triggers. But... Given that, it's and you can look at the specs, obviously like everyone's PC specs are completely different. I'm running this on Windows 7 64-bit, uh, the ultimate edition of that. I got a GTX 770, 4GB of VRAM, and the good old Intel Core 2500K IV bridge at 4.0GHz. So obviously everyone else, and I got 8GB of RAM also, I guess that's kind of important to add into the equation as well. So everyone's rigs handled this game differently, and I, I've also heard how Windows 8 and this has been discussed in the past, people are like, just upgrade to Windows 8, it's so much more optimized for this game. People are like, I'm not going to change to an inferior operating system because of one game, just to get like, what, 10, 15 extra frames if I'm lucky? I'd rather stay with Windows 7, and quite frankly, I agree, because I think Windows 8 is abysmal in terms of its like, metro layout and all that crap. Adding the start button, but not really. Anyway, that's a whole other discussion. The game is just significantly more improved, and considering it's on sale right now, have no idea how much longer the sale is going to gonna last, but it's on sale, premium's on sale, so if you've been holding off and trying to get your hands on this game because you're like, oh, I'm going to wait till it's improved, well, it's improved. This is the time to get it, if you so choose, or, which I would strongly advise, if, you don't, if you're a little bit more patient, maybe wait until the Christmas holidays to see if it goes on sale again and maybe even cheaper, because Final Stand comes out... Not sure when. It's already released for premium members. For non-premium members like myself, I have no idea when it comes out. I can easily look it up, but I'm not going to because laziness. Yeah. But, you know, it's it's around the horizon for us. And it's it looks interesting. You know, hover tanks and like rail gun sniper rifles and stuff like that. I, I wanna I wanna, you know, try that out and play it. But I'm probably gonna wait till the Christmas holidays to even consider getting premium, because I already have China Rising and the Dragon's Teeth. I think it's Dragon's Teeth. I don't really remember. China Rising, yeah, I don't know. which Whichever one. I have two of the expansions uh, out of the five that are supposed to be coming out. So, I was holding off 
personally. Or no, it's Naval Strike. Sorry. I have I just remember now because the beginning of the gameplay showed me playing Naval Strike. Yeah, so I have China Rising and Naval Strike. And Dragon's Teeth and Second Assault and Final Stand are the ones I currently don't have, but weighing the price comparisons between getting each one individually versus just getting premium, premium comes out cheaper every time. And considering it's on sale right now because premium is originally 50 bucks, like again, Christmas holidays, we have no idea. But if you're if you've been holding off on getting this game and you want to get it, now is the time or wait for Christmas holidays when it'll probably be even better with some more patch iterations and implementations and all that kind of stuff. Because I'm really enjoying this game. I remember how much fun it used to be and I was thinking, man, if only it performed better, it would be an excellent game. And now it pretty much is. So my name is Pepper Belly. Thank you guys for joining me today and I will see you on the next one.